Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Uh, my voice is still not 100%. Um, having some technical difficulties this morning. My wireless mic uh, died, but um, I'm uh, ordering a new one. It should be here today, uh, but it's Christmas Eve, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, well, so hopefully with uh, everything for tomorrow for Christmas, I'll have the new mic and uh, the quality will be better. So once again, I do apologize for the quality of that. Um, well, this is a unique situation. It is the fourth Sunday in Advent, and that always takes place. You know, Advent is four Sundays before Christmas. Uh, but this year, the fourth Sunday in Advent is Christmas Eve. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the readings for um, the fourth Sunday in Advent. And uh, maybe when the new mics come in, if they come in today, I'll do another reading tonight for the Christmas Eve readings. Uh, so be on the lookout for that one. So there'll be a special edition this evening. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this morning, for the uh, fourth Sunday in Advent readings, I'm going to be starting off with Second Samuel. And, um, and then I'm going to the Gospel of Luke. And then um, another reading in the Psalms and Romans. And then we're going back again to the Gospel of Luke. So, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 1 through 11, and then verse 16. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. My voice is still not 100%, so... Now when the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See now, I am living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel, whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now, therefore, Thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep to be prince over all over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth, and I will anoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may live in their own place and be disturbed no more, and evildoers shall afflict them no more as formerly. From the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. Awesome. All right, uh, Luke chapter 1, verses 46b through 55. And here we go. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has sown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham, 
and to his descendants forever. That's good stuff. All right. All right. Psalm 89, verses 1 through 4 and 19 through 26. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to my servant David. I will establish your descendants forever and build your throne for all generations. Selah. Then you spoke in a vision to your faithful one and said, I have set the crown on one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him. The wicked shall not humble him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. And that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, get a little coffee here. My voice is going out. All right. Romans chapter 16, verses 25 through 27. Now the God who was able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be gl the glory forever. Amen. All right. And now, the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How could this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative is Elizabeth. In her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. And this is the word of the Lord this morning. All right. As usual on Sundays, the Revised Common Lectionary offers a series of prayers, and I'd like to share those with you, so let us pray. O God of Elizabeth and Mary, you visited your servants with news of the world's redemption and the coming of the Savior. Make our hearts leap with joy and fill our mouths with songs of praise that we may announce glad tidings of peace and welcome the Christ in our midst. Amen. And then... Brothers and sisters, as we joyfully await the glorious coming of the Christ, let us pray for the needs of the church, our community, and the world. 
and there are certainly some people on my heart and mind that I've been thinking about and praying for, and I lift those up, and I lift yours up as well. And God of promise, you have given us a sign of your love through the gift of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who was promised from ages past. We believe, as Joseph did, the message of your presence, whispered by an angel, and offer our prayers for the world, confident of your care and mercy for all creation. Amen. And then, ever faithful God, through prophets and angels, you promised to raise up a holy child who will establish a household of peace and justice. Open our hearts to receive your Son, that we may open our doors to welcome all people as sisters and brothers and establish your household in our time. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Um, Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. So uh, with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.